testing, testing, testing. One, two, three, one, two, three. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Uh, this is Mike from Someone's Bones, www.someonesbones.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Nibiru news and information. On January 4th, we published an article containing information obtained via Dr. Diamond Damir Zakarovich. That's Dr. Diamond Damir Zakarovich, a famed Russian astronomer and former scientific aide to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Dr. Zakharovich claims that a Nibiru fragment ejected from the Nibiru system is currently approaching Earth and will strike on February 16th, that is February 1-6. He asserts that NASA, aka Never a Straight Answer, is colluding with the government to hide this information to prevent worldwide panic. Our story has met with a lot of criticism but was also picked up by other alternative press and mainstream news like Drudge, the Daily Mail, and quite a few respectable news sources across the entire globe. Yesterday, we obtained new information from Dr. Zakarovich. I'm going to read the story, link all relevant information below, and then I will offer some comments on the story and the information that has been given to us up until this point. So stay tuned. And the headline reads, Nibiru Fragment to Strike New York, February 16th, says Russian Astronomer. And the story. On January 4, famed Russian astronomer Dr. Diamond Damir Zakarovich stunned the world by revealing the existence of a large asteroid that will strike Earth on February 1-6. First reported by this website, Dr. Zakharovich's claims ripple through alternative news before gaining mainstream media coverage. The Daily Mail, The Sun, The Daily Star, and several Australian newspapers reprinted the article in last-ditch attempts to warn their readers of the impending threat. Since going public with his findings, Dr. Zakharovich has met with seething hatred and biting criticism. NASA rejected his data calling it an apocalyptic fantasy, adding that the asteroid-like object officially named 2016 WF9 is spinning harmlessly through space in cyclic orbit around our solar system. However, Dr. Zakharovich insists that his theory is backed by scientific fact and empirical evidence, and that NASA refuses to acknowledge the threat because it would mean revealing the true origin of the cosmic interloper, the Nibiru system. As I said before, Dr. Zakharovich said, this object was ejected from the Nibiru system, a solar system smaller than our own, approximately 140 million kilometers in diameter. Like balls on a pool table, sometimes asteroids bump one another and get pushed out of orbit. In this case, the asteroid was pushed so, pushed so fast and so hard that it spun twice around the brown dwarf and headed straight for Earth. It gained speed by the slingshot effect when it circled behind the dark side of the sun and is now on its way to hit Earth on February 16th. Asked why NASA is concealing the truth instead of alerting the public, Dr. Zakharovich added, NASA is protecting itself. It keeps the Nibiru reality very secret, or so it thinks. NASA knows that revealing such a threat would cause an immediate breakdown in social services worldwide, and that mass hysteria and panic would cripple society. And this is just over the asteroid, not even Nibiru itself. Now I speak because I have new information to share. First, Dr. Zakharovich explained why NASA's data on 2016 WF9 size and mass differs from his own. The space agency claims that 2016 WF9 is approximately one-half to one kilometer in size, while Dr. Zakharovich's research reveals a much more dangerous object, a deadly 2.2 kilometer Nibiru fragment that has markedly gained size and mass during its trip through the outer solar system. And he says, the Nibiru fragment may have been one-half a kilometer when it left the Nibiru system. But as it moves through space, it slowly grows in size. To use an analogy, 
if you take a snowball and roll it down a hill, it will get larger the further it travels. The beetle fragment much the same. Although its core is a nickel-iron composite, the outer sheath is a porous tritium, tritium membrane, allowing the fragment to accumulate space dust as it travels. The more it travels, the more dust it collects, and thus, and thus grows bigger. I and my colleagues used Russian supercomputer KPRO to make these determinations. Moreover, Dr. Zakarovich says he can now pinpoint the projected impact area. And he says, I predict the Nibiru fragment will strike a small hamlet called Coroga Lake, that is Coroga Lake in upstate New York, with a 40,000 kilometer margin of error. Told that his margin of error encompasses the entire globe, Dr. Zakarovich said, No one is perfect. No one is perfect. We make the best guesses we can with available technology. United States must prepare. Russia must prepare. Everyone, everywhere must prepare. End of story. Okay. And there we have it, another piece of evidence regarding this imminent threat to planet Earth. Regardless, I plan to keep calm, and I live in New York. I mean, but what can anybody do with two weeks' time to prepare for an apocalypse? Do I know for sure this will happen? Hell fucking no. As always, I am merely providing information that has been given to me by experts in their field of study and information that I have vetted to the best of my ability. We should all evaluate evidence with critical ears and critical eyes and do our best to explore the truth. I'm going to punch out here. If you appreciate our information, hit that subscribe button and visit us at www.someonesbones.com. This is Mike signing out. I hope everybody has a great Monday and the rest of the week passes without uh, Nibiru killing all of us. Have a great day. Thank you.